All right, I'm gonna show you how to get your frames per second on your Elgato Stream Deck. Uh, now this is really useful if you don't like to uh, show it in the top corner, but you do wanna occasionally look at it. Um, so first, what you will need to do is download Fraps. Uh, everyone should really know what this is. This has been out a really long time. Um, next, you want to download HW Info. And I'll put the links in the description below for for easy access. Um, so once you get that installed, next you want to install the HW Info Elgato plugin. Um, now, if you have questions, uh, Bar Raider, um, that's where these plugins come from. I, I believe Bar Raider did this one. Um, but if not, there's a really a, a lot of really cool plugins that he does. I'll link that as well. Um, they have a Discord server where they also have more in there. Um, but I believe this one is on um, the actual Stream Deck application. So when you you can go to More Actions and um, type in HW Info and install it. So once you get that installed, what you want to do next is open Fraps first. You have to have Fraps opened first. Um, so what I did, let me close that, make it a little bit easier. So you open it. Um, you really don't have to do anything else, but what I did, I hid the overlay. So I don't, you're not having to look at it. And then open HW Info. And this is very important. What you want to do is open up sensors. Sensors has to be open for this to work. So once you open up sensors, you just minimize. And then it's in the background. All right. And once you're done with that, it will show up under custom. And I'll actually delete this. So custom. Add. And then under sensor, you should have one that's called fraps. Fraps, she was reading frames per second. Now the min max, uh, the min will be how low the graph will be, will go. Uh, so as you see, there's one there, but you can actually raise this to like say 10. Um, but so like the max height will stop at 144 frames per second. So once my frames get up that high, it's going to reach like the full actual square. Um, and I'll show you, let's see, open Epic and then it changes to 60 frames, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, there it goes. And then you will see the graph showing up right there. You can change the graph colors and everything. Now this, now HW info is actually really useful for other things as well. As you see, you have your, uh, you can have your uh, CPU average percentage, the temperatures and everything. I like to use that just to make sure that I'm not over throttling my computer. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's it, and that is how to add your frames onto the Stream Deck. I hope this helps.